welcome to our first ever Brixton Town vlog. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be going up to our football pitch um, and just showing you a little bit around John Charles Park about um, what we've done up there um, over the summer period. Obviously there's a lot of you that have probably been to JC Park already but haven't actually seen the progress that's been made uh, since we've been in this lockdown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up to John Charles Park now. I'm going to show you around the place, show you what we've done. Okay, so we'll see you at JC Park. Hey everybody, right, we are at JC Park now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come onto the pitch here and I'm going to basically flip the camera around um, and just go around and show you guys all the work that's been going on um, while we've been in this lockdown. So, I'm going to just flip the camera now, around now and I'm going to show you. So, basically, since the last time people were at JC Park, we didn't have any of these railings which we have um, installed or we've put down all the way around the pitch. Uh, so, as you can see there, we've got them all the way around. We haven't, we've left that bit open over there, which I'll explain a little bit about in a bit. Okay, and then we've got also the area over there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk down through, show you some of the um, different businesses that have been very very kind and had a board at our pitch uh, so I'm just going to go down here so we've got Riviera Garage Doors we've got more seafood we have got Boyce Brixham supporting Brixham Town Charles Russell's sem uh, sem uh, ceremonies sorry that just spit me words <laughs> spit me words out there okay so Steel Innovations is the next one we've got Central Garages we've got Camplin's Coats which is absolutely amazing, by the way. Just had one of those cheesecakes, like, just before I come up here. Um, then you've got Brixton Town Academy, my own uh, personal business, obviously, with the kids' football. Um, and we go down a little bit further, and we've got Toby Prowse Grounds Maintenance. Um, Toby's done a lot of help up at this pitch um, to get it looking like it is now. Elite Valeting. Um, we have TDD Construction. We have Interline Building Supplies. We have Reed Scallop Gear, or Scallop Gear, however you want to say it. No, there's different people will say it in different ways. Emphatic Attics, which, uh, then we got Harbour Diner. We got Primrose Properties. Okay, and then we're going to go over to the next side of the pitch. So we've just got down all the way down to here. Um, we do have more boards on the way as well. Um, there's still time for people to get their boards. If you would like a board at our pitch, all you need to do is email Brixham Development Academy at gmail.com and we can sort you out a board around our pitch. Um, so the next one we got is with love from Joey James. Um, really nice clothing brand. We've got Aqua Jets, brand new jet ski safari in Brixham. We have Reef Landscapes. Then we have Tom Plum plumbing services okay i'm just going to go around again you can see now we've been seeding the pitch okay to try and get it ready uh, for when we get back on the 30th of march that's our next game which we are hoping will be live on facebook so you can go and watch it on there um, hopefully we might be able to have people in um, the pitch but we don't know yet so if we can't get on Facebook make sure you give it a watch because um, it should be a good game um, Stoke Gabriel will be at JC Park the next one we have we have Leaky Finders okay then we go on to Inside Out Cleaning Services we have Marine Survey Solutions okay then we have AC Print who are the company that have done all our boards for us Okay, we're just going to spin it around now. We're going to head up to the top end of the pitch. Okay, as I go up there, I'm just going to stop the camera and then I'll come back to you when we get up there. Okay, so we are back at the top end of the pitch. Okay, and it does look a little bit more messy over here because we're still working over here. It has just started hammering down with rain as well, which is really annoying. But, so, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So, what we've got here now um, is this area here, which we have now like enclosed in. Okay, we are going to be making, making this into like a little cafe area. There will be some more boards to go along here and as you can see the work that we've done this morning we came up this morning we dug some holes uh, because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be erecting this um, netting up to protect everybody that's having maybe a drink in here and the balls don't come flying in here okay so that netting will be going up um, hopefully this week maybe even today I don't know yet it just depends on time um, then what we've got here is we've got our storage unit now at the moment our storage unit obviously we're using it to store all our football gear and stuff which we will be using any Anyway, but eventually what we'd like to do is we'd like to put a little hut on this okay and have like a little cafe area here in this area over here where you see all our goals stored okay down here we're gonna look we're looking at getting a barn built um, to store all our goals and also 
so a little bit of under under um cover seating area for when we do our football camps with all the children all of them goals there are our nine aside goals which we have ordered for our eight aside league that we will be starting and our veterans league um if you haven't already make sure you go over to britain development academy if you'd like to sign up for that all you have to do is send us a message and we can send send that across to you here we have all our brand new picnic benches, which is going to be great for all the children when they come to the football camps. They can sit on the tables, have their lunches, but also when we're having matches, especially in the summer, nice barbecues, sit out here, chill, nice cold beer for those of you that would like that. Okay, um, and yeah, that's basically that's basically what we've done at JC Park. I mean, there's one more little thing actually that I did miss, um, which is if you look behind the goal over here, we have put netting, new netting in behind this goal now, similar to what we had at the other end. Um, but as you can see at the top, we have put the safety rings um, off the boats. Um, we just thought it would be a nice touch, being the fisherman, we've got that. Um, and a little idea that we've had, uh, that we're going to do, when our uh, players reach the 100 game mark for Brixham Town, what's going to happen is they are going to get their own little yellow and blue boy like you would get off a boat and what they're going to do is they're going to clip it onto the net behind here okay and then their name's going to be put on it with 100 games and their goals and assists in them 100 games which will look really really smart along here and it'll just just gives us that edge of being Brixham Town Football Club so yeah thanks for watching this little bit I'll come back again later on when I can talk to you a little bit more about the plans for Brixham Town going forward and what we've got coming so thanks and I'll speak soon right I'm still at JC Park but basically I forgot to show you guys something so I've just got um, into the storage unit which is the lockup which is where we store all our football gear okay um, so basically I just wanted to show you this isn't um, something that's going to be going up hopefully in the next time probably proper close up there <laughs> so um, this this is going to be going up at the pitch um, out on the front gate so I'll just let, let, let you see that so basically that is our brand new match day board every week obviously a team will be placed put in there with our kickoff time that'll be out the front gate so every week um, those that are coming to JC Park will know who the fishermen are playing and then on here we have our I'm gonna go that way but it probably will be awkward but uh, that's that's all our club sponsors so again we've got like our main kit sponsor which is Brits and Fish Market Rare Boots for you, they did our training tops, okay. D&D uh, Electrical, they did our youth team track suits, as did the Leaky Finders down there in our other youth team. Um, more Seafood and Hillier uh, Roofing, they, them guys did our youth team kits. Uh, BTM was a sponsor for us um, for our equipment and also they did our nets behind our bottom goal. They're going to come back up and do them properly because... They donated them, but they haven't. We haven't put them up properly ourselves yet. So they're going to come up and do that in the summer. And then we have MNC Roofing down here. They did our polo tops, um, and then down at the bottom, Maritime International Solutions. They were our main club tracksuit sponsors. So that's our sponsors board for Brixton Town. And like I say, I will come back later on um, just to, just to talk to you a bit about. Um, our plans for the club in terms of our YouTube channel and in terms of other things that we've got um, that we're looking to start up. Um, so I'll talk to you a bit about that later when I get home. Right now I'm going to go and have a little kick about, a little bit of practice at JC Park. See you later, guys. So I'm back at home now. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through some of the dates um, to finish the vlog off of what's going to be happening for the club um, over the next few weeks and when football can resume. So basically our first game back is on the 30th of um, April, uh, no, 30th of March, and that is at home to Stoke Gabriel. Um, Stoke are playing, I think, in the Peninsula League. I know they've struggled this season, but they're a good young side, so that should be an interesting game to get us back underway. Um, that first game when we get back, I'm not sure whether we're allowed supporters or not. I have to look into it. But if we're not, we're going to hopefully post these games live on Facebook. Um, so the first three, we're going to do like a trial run um, in these friendlies to see if the uh, Facebook live streams working all look good. Um, and we'll we'll just let you know, um, basically, if that's going ahead. Keep, keep up to date with our Facebook page. 
Um, like next game after that on the third is WBB. We're playing WBB at home, um, which that will be their first team, which again, they're a Premier side. Um, they've got some good results in the Prem this year as well. I think that'll be a really, really good test for us um, and a good good way for us to get back into it. So that'll be a good game on us. That's on a Saturday. So fingers crossed we can get supporters in so you can come and watch that game. Um, on the 6th, we play Totnes um, at home. Totnes seconds. They're in our league. They're one of the top teams in our league. Um, they've been up, the, up there battling with us this season. They will be in our little Champions League tournaments um, style thing. Um, so it'll be good to have a good test against one of the better teams in our league just before that starts. And that Champions League starts on the 10th. Um, so basically, as most of you might already be aware, if you don't know, our league was stopped because um, the, the, t the clubs got a vote and they all decided that basically to null and void the season this season, which is frustrating for those of us like at the top, but you can sort of understand their decisions, those in the middle. They did, it went to an overall vote and the overall vote was to do a Champions League setup. So basically what will happen is our division will be split into four groups um, with the top team in each group progressing into the semi-final and then potentially a final. So obviously we're looking forward to that and we're looking for the challenge and we're hoping that we can potentially win that trophy. Um, and also we're still in the County Cup, which will still be running, which is good news for us. Uh, so there's two, still two trophies for uh, the club to fight for this season. Um, from that, just a few couple of dates on our YouTube channels. So basically we're obviously starting this new YouTube channel. The first date is the 13th, Tuesday the 13th. We're hoping to put our first Cam and Macca show on, which, trust me, you do not want to miss the Cam and Macca show. Um, and then on the Thursday, again, another one you really don't want to miss, on Thursday the 15th, we're hoping for our first ever Big Lou Knows the Drill. OK, and like I say, it's going to be funny. It's going to be good. So tune in to watch them. Um, and also we got on the Friday the 16th, we're hoping to put out our first introdu Introducing the Fisherman um, programme, which basically is just a sit down talk with some of our players and explain a little bit about their background in the football and just let you guys start to get to know some of our players um, from um, behind the camera. So... We're hoping to get all that out to you, um, give you a bit of content and obviously make it a bit of a laugh, a bit of fun. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll, you'll see as um, we start doing all that. Um, the only other couple of things I've just got to say is obviously we're running our club lottery. Get onto um, our Facebook page or our link in our bio on our Instagram page and just click it and you can get our club lotto up and you can have a go. It's only a pound a week. And it all raises money for the club and there's potential for you to win. Jackpot, I think, this week's at £400 and it will go up by £50 every week and it could raise to £20,000. So make sure you're in the draw to, to give yourself a chance of winning. There is a second place prize of £25. If you match three numbers, that is split. That £25 is split if there's two or three people that win that. And finally, some good news from the club. Um, we have just received a, a grant for um, basically ground maintenance equipment so we can better improve our pitch and better maintain our facility. That's something that's been massive for us. Um, we looked into it uh, quite a while ago, but the Devon FA helped us out. And yeah, it's all come off now, which is great news. Hopefully that'll be with us by the end of the month. We can really start working on that pitch uh, and making it somewhere special to be able to play football, not only for Brixham Town, but for the community as well, with all the community events we've got going on up there. So get yourselves involved. Um, other than that, thank you for watching the vlog. Make sure you subscribe on our Facebook, uh, on our YouTube channel, Full Time Fishing. Thank you very much and I'll see you again soon.